Hi guys! In this tutorial we're gonna make some wooden floor tiles using 3D code. I really like painting tiles in 3D code. You can see and control everything to make sure it's not too repetitive and will great in the game. Also, it's so easy to make it tileable. And as variation we're gonna add some PBR wannabe adjustments to our hand painted texture. By the way, color palette and noise texture can be found at our Discord channel, links in the description. Let's go! Jumping to Blender to create a simple plane with UV map. Just um, let's add a couple edges, mark seam them and reset the UV map. Then we are gonna set up some material to see our UV grid on the plane and here we go, we have a plane with 9 tiles together that we're gonna paint on. And now we are in 3D code. Using the fill tool for our base color, creating new layer and starting painting our line art. And you can see how easy to make it tileable in 3D code, just paint on this edge between the planes and you have the tileable texture already. It's super easy, very comfortable and you can control it and see how, how it works and how it looks. It's very cool and that's why I like the 3D code for that kind of things. Painting every plank in very unique position so it will not look repetitive. Adding some wooden details and be careful when you're adding uh, the wooden shapes this should be very consistent and if you go with angle at once continue it on all the planks don't mix it with uh, different shapes like some diagonal around it and any other so just don't mix them together stay consistent and it will look great and I decided to go with uh, more like angled, sharp look for our four tile. And be careful with thickness of your wooden details. We don't want it to look like a bark, you know, because it's uh, already planks, no bark at all. So I recommend to go with some more thick details and it gonna look like a planks. By the way, I'm using the hard brush with 100 opacity for that kind of things. I rarely switch to other brushes, only if I need some ambient painting and maybe some shiny thing. But for now, only the hard brush. And randomly creating these sharpened details and trying to break the forms for our planks too, so they're not like straightforward, just the straight lines. I think that way it's gonna look much more cooler. The small details adding really a lot. It can be a huge difference like between well polished work and not well polished work. That's the thing, so I always prefer to do something like that. And maybe some small scratches would be cool too, but be careful. We don't want it to be super repetitive and visible. The next step going to be adding some depth to our planks. And I created a new layer and painted this um, dark, darker color. Then I choosing some razor tool with soft brush and just erase it a little bit then creating another one and doing the same thing adding the depth using a razor tool adjusting it and now it looks much cooler and we want to do it almost for every plank maybe with some different uh, depth forms I created another one aware so we don't have a conflict with other planks and doing the same thing, adding some interesting depth effect so our planks will not be super flat and now adding some 
bevel like painting for even more depth effect with some darker outline on the lower part of plank i'm adding the darker color and on the upper part some brighter one but make sure not to go too much with it so it should not catch your eyes too much by getting some details but not too much I moved our align art layer above everything else and created another one layer where we're gonna paint some wooden texture details. I choosing the lighter color and trying to fill this um, space like be in between the wooden align art lines we painted, making like it's put on the layers like wooden. Uh, texture thing. One of the methods how I paint the wood and this one is always noisy one and I'm trying to stay consistent with these texture details and uh, painting mostly like straight line details and then I'm choosing some darker color and mixing blending a little bit those colors to get more interesting texture for our wood once again i don't want it to be like super eye-catching and all the details it's like someone woke it on this floor with their shoes too much and that's all the details i want to have here I created another one layer and it's a highlights. It's the lighter lines we're gonna paint where the light bounces on our wood. And we're choosing a lighter color for it, um, making our brush very small and painting these um, soft highlights, make sure they are very soft like they would have we don't want it to like to be super shiny or reflective like metal or something we are painting a wooden material so yeah they should be soft and we're doing this on all the planks we have here i also work a lot with the sensitivity of my pen pen pressure like uh, painting this uh, with some opacity for lines that way they look very cool i like it and i always doing it that way using a lot of pen pressure and make sure not to paint uh, your highlights from both sides of your line art and all the scratches only where the light bounces other way it will look a little bit strange and not very logical and now we're gonna add more colors to our wood i created another one layer and i pick it the color from the 3d code background i actually like this color so i want to use it it's a shortcut for me and I don't want to use like uh, some red or green colors for it. It will remind too much about the bark and I don't want it. So I went with this gray white blue color and then went for a razor tool and blended it to our texture a little bit more. So it's kind of there, but not seen too much. I like it. Then we're gonna add one more layer and it's gonna be some uh, green uh, painting dots or something but very cool details i also choose the brush with these dots in 3d code and randomly painted some of them with greenish color and then again 
went for a razor tool and blended it to our texture nicely. But I think we need a little bit more details, so I choose this very strange brush, made couple strokes with it and we have this um, very strange result, but it's gonna look pretty cool. I put it uh, on 11% for some reason, but it's gonna work. And then I'm erasing it, blending to our texture, just to add a little bit more details to our texture. Mm, I think we are missing something and it's the nails. Yes, we're gonna add some nails now and we're going with mm, some darker color, adding some dots, but I add them very randomly and not repetitive as you see. I think it will look much more cooler than do everything very repetitive. And some dark blue color for metals. Adding highlights to it with a lighter blue color. And the nails can be shiny, so we're gonna make them a little bit shinier. But once again, not super super shiny because uh, they will pump up that way from all the wooden texture and your eye we'll only see the nail reflection, not something we want. A little bit more uh, highlights, reflection to every nail, but I'm very careful with it. I decided to add a little bit more white value, so I painted a couple points with a lighter color and gonna put it on color dojo air for my favorite 11%. So it will have some more volume and it's done. In Photoshop I'm gonna make couple textures for our PBR wannabe variation on the 4 tile. Choosing only a line art and dark depth layers, turning off everything else, making it unsaturated and increasing some contrast. It's gonna be our ghost or roughness texture. For reflection, I will use a random noise texture, put it on overlay like 40%, and that's all. We are done with it. And here is our amazing results with PBR wannabe textures and with only hand painted diffuse. Now hit the like and subscribe buttons and see you in the next videos. Peace.